Hi, very good evening to all of you. My name is Eric. I'm a true blue Singaporean Chinese. Not often you get Chinese these days, huh? To be a comedian. Phew. Uh, you know, I just want to make a confession. I think that, you know, Singaporeans like myself, I think we can't do small talk. You realize that? We can't do small talk. Because the other day I was in the elevator, and, you know, it was about 7 p.m., and so everybody is hating up. So we, there were two guys in front of me, neighbor A, neighbor B. You know they know each other. There's this awkward silence. They're looking at each other. They're trying to say something, but you do not know what to say. And then you're in the center hoping that they say something. And finally, halfway up the elevator, first guy says this. Um, going home. <laughs> and I was like, my head, duh, where else can you be going? And then neighbor E goes, neighbor B goes, uh, yeah, I'm going home. How about you? <laughs> No, 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 I'm going to a house that I have with your wife. <laughs> Alright, so this is Singaporeans for you. Talking about elevators, right? Do you ever wonder or ask yourself this question? Why is it that there's this unspoken rule that you're not supposed to talk in an elevator? Is everybody talking, hey, stand up comedy is really cool, huh? Da, da, da. <laughs> and all of a sudden, the numbers become really interesting. Otherwise, the floor. Yeah, so one time I decided to play a prank on my friend. So everybody was inside, there were a lot of aunties and uncles, really, really packed out. Ikyong, and then halfway through at six floor, I go, hey, Ikyong, how was sex last night? And I swear to you, you should see the faces of the aunties and the uncles. You know they were listening, but they pretend they never listen. <laughs> they are so fun. You should try that. All right, let's go. Oh, by the way, for those of you who do not know, this is my second time here doing this thing, and uh, trust me, all right? Oh, thank you. <laughs> yes, you know, this is my second time here, but it really feels like your first time. Yeah, for those of you who try that. And, but you see, the reason why I keep coming back is because I know people here are super encouraging. There's Uma, you know, there's Desmond, a lot of people. I remember the first time when I did this, someone came up to me and gave me a pat on the shoulder. You know, Eric, hey, that was good. That was really good. And he was very, very encouraging. And then he said, so there's only one teeny weeny little bit of problem. I said, what is it? I took my notes. You're not funny. <laughs> <laughs> He's not here today. I don't want to make fun of him. <laughs> Oh, you know, to be honest with you, if, if ever I ever want to, you know, become a successful <sighs> Can you smell my breath? <laughs> and the best part is this, you know, imagine you are a prostitute. And people ask you, what do you do? Oh, I'm a prostitute. Really? Prove it. Guess what? <laughs>